driving down the road and you're looking kind of crusty your paint's all peeling and your seats are getting dusty the mechanic at the shop will say here's what we'll do we'll take the old one out and make it brand new Let's get our free muffin and hit the road. Disney awaits. I've been staring at the edge of the water. Kiddo, I know. You've been saying that for days. But it's so important. Hopefully today our car makes it all the way without any problems. Fingers crossed. What if it doesn't work this time and we have to take it to an auto shop? Then that's what we do. And we have hope that the old guy's going to pull through. Grandpa? Grandpa's coming? No, no, Grandpa's fine. He's in his recliner back home. The car, you silly goose. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, all right, let's get on the show. Hit it the road. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, what, what was that? Dad, are you serious? You hit a deer? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he hit me. Uh, Dad? There's a big hole in the door. What? Did I hear that correctly? Would I lie? There's a hole on the side. Come look, it's kind of cool. By golly, you're right. There's a hole. Well, now what? Can we still make the to Disney on time? Not quite sure driving with a giant hole in the door would be the safest thing, especially when you're going 70 on the interstate. Why, oh why me? I just want to be at Disney World already. Do you know any mechanics in the area? No. Wait, wait a second. Doesn't Roxy's brother live in Kentucky? How, how do you know that? Roxy and I are friends. I know stuff. Do you know how to get a hold of him? 188 Bobby Ray? <laughs> um, that seems too easy, but let's give it a shot. Hello? Hi, uh, is this Bobby Ray by chance? I reckon it is. Who is this I'm talking to? My name is Arnold. I'm actually your sister Roxy's neighbor. But I seem to be stranded in the middle of Kentucky with my daughter. I heard you were a mechanic. Is there any way you could help us? Oh, of course I can. Just send me a location and I'll be there right now. Help, help is on the way. Now we, now we wait. Howdy there. I'm Bobby Ray. Nice to officially meet you. There's a hole in the side of our car. Can you fix it so we can go to Disney World? <laughs> I'm afraid I need to look at the problem first before I can fix it. It's quite an interesting problem. You can say that again, but I think I have a spare door back at my shop that will work perfect for your get-up here. Perfect! How convenient! How long do you think that'll take? Yeah, how long? Probably looking at a few hours is all. Oh, come on! That's too long! How about a compromise? 20 minutes? Well, you're quite the negotiator, aren't you? Afraid that's not gonna cut it, though, little girl. All right, all right. I guess I can deal with that. As long as it means I won't fly out of the door while we're driving down the road. Let's get to the shop. Well, that was a quick trip. Thank goodness, because we need to get the show on the road, people. Why don't y'all head inside and watch Paw Patrol? I even got chocolate milk in the fridge. I'll come grab you when I'm all finished. Anymore. Now that's a beaut. You you paid so much attention even to the little details. You even fixed parts of the car we didn't tell you about. Yeah, well, that's what a good mechanic does. They love the car. They care for every part of the car, even the bad ones. It's like they're getting new life, right? With all the love the car gets, they're able to keep going when they get run down. That's exactly right. 
we're like the cars. We have things that get broken, things that get messed up, and they don't look pretty on the outside anymore. We need fixed. Jesus is our mechanic. He loves and cares for us so much. All things are made new in a way. When we know God's love, it helps us to keep going when it's hard. And when we can love others and our own cars the way God cares for them. That's awesome. Boy, we sure have learned a lot on this road trip. I'm so thankful for the new friends who are willing to help us learn so many things. It's my pleasure. I'm glad I could help you get on your way. Thank you so much, Bobby Ray. I'll be sure to give Roxy a big hug when I see her for you. But first, we have somewhere to be. It's time for 